Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Morning Cello. I believe this is Morning Cello episode number 82, I think. And so it's great to be here with all of you. Hopefully, uh, we won't have any, uh, you know, internet blips like we did last time. I th I'm pretty sure it was uh, on Facebook's end because uh, the internet in our home was still working. So um, anyway, sorry about the, the blip last time, uh, but I'm looking forward to another exciting uh, episode here today. Uh, and yeah. Why don't you let me know where you're listening from? It's always nice to know where people are. We have people from all over the world and all over the all over this country, this this amazing, amazingly complex country. Uh, and there's a lot going on right now. We're about to have a new president in the White House, um, and hopefully a brighter future. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, life is uh, life is is good over here in the McLean compound. Uh, my son Yo Yo is growing up super fast. Uh, he's getting very heavy to hold. Uh, uh, he's just been shoveling food in his mouth, which is great because <clears throat> he's always been a bit of a picky eater. Uh, but he's just discovered oatmeal, uh, oatmeal fruit. And so that's just like his new favorite thing. And he just destroys it in the morning. And uh, he is actually going to start preschool here pretty soon. Uh, I think it's preschool. It's a daycare. Uh, it's a Spanish immersion daycare. Many of you know my wife is from Argentina, and so he already speaks probably a little more Spanish than English already. And uh, we just like to get him in to, to socialize him. It's been difficult with, with COVID. As many of you parents know, uh, it's difficult to get kids socialized in such a, a interesting, uh, difficult landscape that, that the COVID pandemic has presented for parents. And so uh, it's a really very safe place. Um, we're not even allowed to go in the school and they keep all of his, you know, his plates and his, uh, uh, his, uh, what do they call it? His bottle. <laughs> they keep it there. He's not allowed to bring it home. So it stays there and it does not bring any germs from home. And so, uh, he'll start on Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, from eight till noon. And then he comes home and takes a nap. And so, uh, Rosario and I are gonna, finally going to be able to get some work done. And so I've been doing most of my work, uh, in one hour increments uh, during nap time. And so that's pretty much all the time <laughs> that I have because Rosario was working a lot and I would watch Yo-Yo. And so uh, really, really looking forward to that. That's actually um, when I'll start physically constructing, building uh, the new music studio. And so uh, Rosario and I move into our new home here shortly. So second move in three months and then I'll start uh, building the studio. And so I'll actually be posting pictures of what the space looks like before and then the sort of process as we tear up the floor and install, you know, sound insulation and all that, all that cool stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, it's just, you know, it's always this, oh, I've already got, <laughs> already got an angry face. I wonder if that's because I was talking about the election. You can't, you can't please them all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get started here. And uh, I just want to thank you all again for being here. Uh, I'm always just blown away uh, every time that we have, have amazing people show up every Tuesday, every Thursday. Uh, I have put like 10% of the mugs and t-shirts into boxes. Um, and so the, hopefully those will get mailed out later this week, like more likely early next week, but they are coming soon. Um, you will likely get them before the end of the month. We'll see. Um, but they, I have started the process again, <laughs> can only work during nap time. So, um, but, uh, I've gotten all the people who have ordered a mug and a t-shirt into a box. And so that makes it easier for me to go through the rest of the list of just like t-shirt, 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 mug, mug, mug. Um, and so I've gotten that out of the way. And uh, yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to keep playing. Diane Car Carolina, my three-year-old is in love with the cello. Oh, cool. Tell your three-year-old hello. I'm glad that they're here and I'm glad that they love the cello. Me too.
Well, hello. <clears throat> I forgot my cup of tea. Um, yeah, well, welcome to all of you uh, to another episode of Morning Cello. Uh, we've been going for almost a year strong, which is crazy. Uh, I think it'll be end of March, middle of March will be sort of the, the year mark. And so it's been, it's been, uh... oh, Dina, you were asking what the uh, name of that piece is. The piece I just played is actually going to be on the Morning Cello um, album. I don't have a name for it yet. They'll, they'll get names as I begin recording them and sort of putting them in order and figuring out sort of what part of the, the arc they're in. And uh, But that's one of the first pieces I started playing um, because of these morning cello sessions and it's just such a beautiful melody. Uh, it's two chords like, like most of my tunes uh, with no change. Um, they, they might get chord changes as I start recording. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a really pretty one that I look forward to putting in the album. It might be like the first first track in the album just because it's so sort of iconic of, of these sessions and um, it's been there since the beginning. So that's really cool. Ah, oh, yeah. So um, there's not much new, I guess, going on. Uh, I got a notification on Facebook today that we've had our dog Luigi for three years. And so that's exciting. He should be, he's, we don't really know when his birthday is. It's like around February 1st. And, uh, and so he's, he's about four years old um, and he's still here. And it's funny, he was kind of the beginning of the family. You know, we, like we, we moved in together and then we decided to get a dog. Uh, oh, M. M. Mick Partland is asking which two chords. That is a, uh, that song had a G minor chord to a C major. Um, Oh, hey, Fran. Hola from Arlo. Fran Lee's there. Um, she's a good friend of ours in, in Berkeley, California. And so 
Uh, she used to watch Yo-Yo every, every every so often, and we would watch her older son. Arlo's six now, um, and so yeah, we miss you, Fran. Both you and Jim and Arlo. So we look forward to when you can visit. Uh, Joyce is asking what breed of dog. Luigi is a. Uh, we think he's a mutt. You know, he was. Uh, we got him. He was a, a rescue dog. He was deeply traumatized. Uh, the whoever had him before was very terrible to him, and so he's still uh, recovering from all that all of that trauma. Uh, but he is a, we think he's a poodle terrier mix, and so he, uh, he's hypoallergenic, which is cool. He doesn't shed at all. It's the first dog I've ever had that doesn't shed. So he has this beautiful white curly hair um, that needs a lot of grooming and bathing and, and brushing, and he's just a, he's just a great, he's just a great, a great little guy. Uh, he's terrible on the leash, though. He, uh, he, I think because he's so traumatized, he tries to let everyone know that he's not afraid, and um, I think it's because he's so afraid, and so he just pulls on the leash and, and tries to, to bark at everyone. Um, and so, but he's, you know, he's got his, he, he's a good snuggler in bed, and, and uh, our son Yo-Yo really loves Luigi, and so you can actually hear him in the morning. He'll be, like, crying for you to come pick him up, and I'll be like, Mama, Papa, Luigi. Um, and we built a fort yesterday. I've been building this, I've, I've been taking, uh, we have these big back cushions that actually have like a frame inside um, to our couches. So you can actually, the couch, you can take the cushion off the back so it becomes just a flat surface that you can sleep on. Um, and so we take those cushions and we construct forts out of it. But I've been taking his little like baby mattress and putting it on top. And so he climbs on those and then gets on top of the baby mattress and then jumps off onto the bed. Uh, but as we build our... Um, as, as we build our forts, there's like a little part underneath, and so he's always like, Luigi, get under the, uh, you know, get in, into the fort, and they both crawl into the fort together, which Lu Luigi isn't so sure of. He still remembers when Yo-Yo was little and pulled his ears and tail and, and, and hair and stuff, so he's still a little sour about that, but they're, they're, they're becoming better friends. Hmm. I, thought I, I thought somebody was at the door. It's just them playing around and running upstairs. Anyways, I'm going to... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, he's here. Oh, it's Luigi. Speak of the devil. <laughs> it's actually kind of embarrassing. I just gave him a really terrible, he needs to go to the groomer really badly. I just gave him a, a haircut with scissors. Luigi, can you say hi? He's a man of a man of few a few words. So this is Luigi. He's a uh, Luigi. Just look in the camera just for a second, just so they can see, just so they can see your eyes. Come on, just do it, do it. There we go. Oh, yeah. He's a pretty he's a pretty good little dog. He needs a he needs a bath though. Uh, and uh, the, the real bummer about uh, we moved to Portland. We moved to a house without a yard, and so. Um, five times a day in the cold I have to, in the cold and rain I have to take Luigi for a walk so the place we're moving to actually has a backyard which I'm very pumped about um, so I don't have to get up at five o'clock in the freezing rain and let this little guy out anyways just give me two seconds I'm going to put him upstairs because he's he doesn't like being in the basement by himself you know not by himself but anyways he's a rescue dog <laughs> okay Luigi let's go upstairs Good, I didn't lose two. I didn't lose any of you. That's great. Um, and I had time to grab my coffee in my morning cello mug. And so <laughs> if you'd like to get in a morning cello mug, I still have a million left. Um, and so there should be a link there that I pinned in the comment section. Uh, and so um, if you go to the campaign link, you can grab one of these morning cello mugs. Um, I still have like 60 left. And so get them before, the, before they're gone. Ah. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing. I'm really having a lot of fun playing this morning. I, I was tweaking with the sound um, last night, and I, I really feel like I really dialed it in. And uh, thanks to all of you for supporting me in the crowdfunding campaign. I have a, a new, um, really high-end uh, audio interface, and so I'm able to add all kinds of amazing emulators. Like uh, I can emulate any kind of like extremely high-end. Uh, channel strip or preamplifier from like you know the, the 50s or 60s is like really cool sounds and so um clarissa colson clarissa uh the mugs are being packed up as we speak and so um i i did the first boxing up of the of the shirts and mugs yesterday and so the Carol Posh Comstock, how many ounces does the mug hold the mug holds 17 ounces it's a big mug and so you can get really going in the morning with filling this up with coffee. So anyways, uh, to answer all your questions, uh, the mugs are getting shipped out soon. Thank you for all of your patience and apologies for the delays there. They were it was kind of out of my hands. I didn't get them. The mugs came in almost a month late. So anyways, they'll be out there shortly. And uh, thank you again for all your support. And if you'd like to grab one, you can get one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done doing my advertisement. Okay, I'm going to keep playing. And I'll talk to you soon.
I'm going to keep playing here. I just want to take one second uh, to plug uh, something. My wife and I are doing a workshop uh, this Sunday. It's uh, the first time we're doing this workshop. It's called the Somatic Sound Journey, and it's a somatic expressive arts movement exploration um, led by sort of the voice of the cello. And so, uh, oh, thank you, Amber and Tegan are saying this is a nice session. I, I was feeling that too. I feel like I'm really connected to the music. Um, my cello was playing particularly well. Um, and so, yes, there's, there's no uh, barrier between me and the music, and so that feels really good. And so thank you for, for noticing. It feels really good today. Um, but I would love it if you could all come to a workshop that my wife, Rosario, and I are putting on. She is, a, she is one of the leaders in her field of, uh, of, of expertise, and that is uh, somatic expressive arts therapy. And so she will be guiding the movement exploration. There's no, um, there is no... Uh, prior experience necessary. Uh, you just need to have access to some basic art materials uh, and uh, comfortable clothes and a space to move. And so that's from 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific time uh, on Sunday. And let me post the link here. There should be a link. You know, I always post a, a pinned link um, in the comment section, but I'm going to go ahead and just post the link to the Eventbrite here in case you'd like to grab tickets. We'll be doing it every month. Uh, so this is the first one. Uh, the workshop is $25. It's two hours, and it's both Rosario and I, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, and so there's a link there, and uh, yeah, it's going to be an amazing workshop. And so we'll be doing that every month with a different theme. This theme is sort of the journey, and so we'll be using a lot of the music from my uh, previous album, Coming Home, and we'll be taking you on sort of a hero's journey. <clears throat> and so that should be exciting. So please join us for that. Uh, I look forward to having you all there. Oh, Tegan asked, what art materials do we need? Uh, just paper and, I mean, basic. You could have, you know, a notebook and a pen. Um, it's all just kind of about expressing yourself. And so if you wanted to have some crayons or markers or oil pastels or something like that, that you know, that would be cool. But you just need some basic materials for, for drawing um, and also maybe uh, doing some writing. So, yeah, please join us this Sunday, uh, 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific time for the somatic, the inaugural session of the somatic sound journey. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, I'm going to keep playing. I'll talk to you soon.
That was uh, the first song of my most recent album, uh, and that song is called The Journey uh, from the album Coming Home. And so uh, that's sort of our hero coming to grips with the idea that uh, human experience does involve suffering and sort of to launch off on the uh, journey to, to find out what all that means. And so I'm going to play one more song for you uh, in honor of the great Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, yesterday was uh, MLK Day, and uh, so I'm going to play Amazing Grace. Many of you have heard me uh, play that before, um, but this is to uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement. <coughs> All right, folks, that's it. Uh, thank you so much again for being here uh, for another uh, amazing episode of Morning Cello. It always just warms my heart to have all of you here, and so thank you for that. Uh, please join me Thursday, this Thursday, uh, for I believe it's episode 83 of Morning Cello. We're getting we're marching on towards 100, and we'll do something really special for that. Um, again, my wife and I, uh, Dr. Rosario San Martino, my wife, I'm so proud of her. Uh, she's a lot smarter than I am, and uh, we'll be working together uh, in a workshop on Sunday morning, 9 to 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you scroll up there in the comments section, uh, there's a link, but there, I also pinned a, 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 a comment with a, with a link there. Otherwise, you can just go to my Facebook page, my um, Facebook music page, and there's an event uh, for a somatic sound journey. And so please sign up for that. That'll be this Sunday. It'll be epic. Uh, it's a somatic expressive arts movement exploration led by the voice of the cello. And so uh, no prior experience uh, necessary. Uh, just show up, uh, comfortable clothing, a space to move, and some minor art supplies to, to, to draw and uh, express yourself. And so that should be really cool. Um, this is a uh, viewer and listener supported show. It is free for the world and will remain that way. Uh, but I'm able to do so by uh, the generous uh, contributions of folks like you. So if you'd like to support the show uh, through a one-time contribution, you can do so uh, through PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Josh Tipjar. Uh, there's a link there in the comment section pinned, or you can do so at Venmo at Joshua McLean. Otherwise, if you'd like to become a supporting member uh, through Patreon, you can do so. Uh, there should be a link there pinned as well. It's at patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com forward slash Joshua McLean. And you can become a monthly supporting member um, and uh, help to support this, this show and, and, and me as a musician. So that would be much appreci appreciated. Lastly, um, I still have morning cello mugs for sale. Um, there we go. Um, these just came in and they'll be shipped out here shortly, but I still have about 50 or 60 left. And so if you'd like to get yourself a morning cello mug, if I hold it this way, you can see it. I made it so that if you're right-handed, which more people are than left-handed, you'll see it while you drink it. But I guess for viewer purposes, I should do this. Um, hmm. It's like the coffee just tastes better because it's out of my morning cello mug, you know? Mm, mm. Um, and there are, you can also still pre-order uh, the upcoming album titled Morning Cello. Um, there should be a link there pinned in the comment section. Or you could just go to Indiegogo, I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot -G -O -G -O com and type in Joshua McLean. And you should find the, the Morning Cello campaign. And so you can still pre-order a CD or a digital download um, or a vinyl. And so that's all very exciting. Uh, Rosario and I sign on our new home today. And so we will be moving in and then I will be... Uh, beginning the construction 
uh, of the music studio that I will be recording Morning Cello in, and I'll be, uh, I will be um, updating you on that whole process. And so you'll get to see the room before, during, and after renovations, and, and you'll get to be part of the whole experience of, of, of basically from start to scratch, literally from a bare room to a studio to the CD vinyl in your hand, and so that's pretty exciting. So yeah, I can't wait. I think that's it. Rosario has a client at 10, so I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, happy MLK Day, day late to all of you. It's important to remember the people that make the biggest changes in this country uh, and who make changes to make the, the world more equitable for everybody. Uh, we are all human beings um, who are all uh, sovereign and equal uh, and finding the ways to fight to, to stay that way is the most important thing that we can work towards right now. So uh, it's important to honor leaders like uh, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and, and uh, our current leaders uh, today. Uh, tomorrow, the first woman and woman of color uh, is being sworn in as the Vice President of the United States of America, which is amazing. Um, I'm kind of hoping Biden just resigns and then she becomes the President of the United States. Uh, it would be nice to have some female leadership uh, for once. Uh, I know my wife is a little more level-headed than I am, so <laughs> I think she would make a better president than me. Anyways, okay, I will see you all on Thursday, and I'll talk to you soon. Until then, take care, and don't forget to say please and thank you and love your neighbors. All right, bye.